Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Play video for Space Engineers. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you, I guess, what I've been up to here. And uh, as you can see, it's a space shuttle. It's a very rough looking space shuttle. And uh, I'm going to explain why it's a really rough looking space shuttle. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to kind of just go around and show you what I got going so far. So I... Uh, was looking for some inspiration for something to build, nothing that was too gigantic and nothing that was too small, I guess. And so this kind of, this is like a happy medium for me. It didn't take uh, too long to build this and it, it's not quite finished yet and I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit too. Um, but what I did is I, I wanted to, let me, let me start over. I was looking for something to build and I was looking for a schematic of some sort. So what I ended up doing uh, was looking at uh, Minecraft designs and seeing what people were doing. So then I was like, oh well maybe I can find some um, blueprints in Minecraft that I can recreate in uh, Space Engineers and we'll just you know go from there. So I started looking for spaceships and space shuttles and pretty much anything I could find in I was kind of disappointed there really wasn't a whole lot out there, but I did find a space shuttle, so that's what I created here. And uh, if you've never seen a uh, Minecraft blueprint or anything like that, I'm actually going to show you what that is here. Um, this doesn't look like much to you, but if I... Um, at the bottom of the screen where you're starting to see the uh, black and white and the little glass block there appear, um, this is the schematic or the blueprint for the space shuttle that I built here and you can kind of see you basically just go layer by layer and you can you know build other people's creations or other people can create these and then share them out there so this one was actually shared by uh, username is I'm probably gonna slaughter this Paul Polonx P-O-L-O-N-X and I'll put a link in the description um, this had, uh, you have to forgive me because I don't know space shuttles, but this actually had the rockets attached to it and everything like that, uh, that uh, I did not build because, I mean, we're already in space, so we won't need the rockets to get us there in space with us. So uh, I will post a link for that. You should definitely check out this schematic, especially if you uh, play in Minecraft. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big device he's got going there, and it's uh, pretty cool. He or she, I, I don't really know. Anyway, um, so I will post a link to that, and uh, we will continue this uh, video as soon as I make my modifications to this to make it uh, Space Engineers worthy. Alright, so here is what I ended up with. Uh, it, it looks pretty similar to the way that it did before, but all the rough corners have been smoothed out. Uh, as you can see, I added a door on the side there so we can actually enter the uh, space shuttle. And we'll go check that out in just a minute. Um, not a whole lot here. I added the uh, thrusters to the back. And those just look cool. Let me, let me back up a little bit here so we can get the whole uh, shot in the view there. But yeah, definitely love the way that those turned out. Look great. Uh, not a whole lot on this side, and really there's nothing underneath either. We can scope that out real quick. Nothing there, just just space shuttle. And the front, the front does look a little bit goofy, but I think it's because uh, space shuttles are you know rounded in the front, and you can't really do that. So, so it is what it is. I could technically go in through that little front window there, but we'll, we'll go in through the door. I do have a generator, a uh, gravity generator on here, so that's why I'm able to walk on it. You could remove that, I guess, if you wanted to float around inside your spaceship, but if I wanted to do that, I could also turn on my jetpack, so there we go. Um, so what I did is, uh, right now I only have uh, just the interior walls. I didn't really do a whole lot. I did put a little medical center in here, medical room. Uh, I could probably put some containers or something like that in here, maybe, if I wanted. 
Uh, you may have noticed that there are no thrusters on the outside of the ship. Uh, on the sides, the front, um, only, only the ones that are... Uh, the only ones that are out there are the ones on the back. And uh, what I did is I actually kind of built this up as an engine room. Um, obviously, other than my gravity generator here, because that has nothing to do with the engine. But uh, you can see I put in a couple reactors and... Uh, there's a couple of gyros hidden in here somewhere, and here are all my other thrusters, which you can't really see, but sort of can see them. So I have one uh, facing upward, uh, two facing forward, I think. I, yep, there's uh, one or two facing each side. Uh, there's a lot of, actually a lot of room between this and the uh, rear thrusters, so I just kind of crammed everything in there and left this open in case I were to need to, uh, you know, get through there for some reason. Uh, anyway, so we'll go back up to the front now. I got another doorway here. And bright. Bright and shiny. And this is the little control room. And see, like I said, I could, you know, climb out the front window here. So, uh, it actually flies pretty decent too. It's not the fastest thing in the world. But I think for a compact, somewhat compact, I guess, for a large spaceship, it's, I mean, it flies pretty good. Probably going to end up breaking it doing this, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it maneuvers quite well. And now I'm going in reverse and I can't move forward. Ah, there we go. Now stop. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get going, but once once it gets going, you know, it, it flies pretty good. And again, I can't take all the credit for it. Um, to, to that user that uh, posted this out on the uh, whatever Minecraft schematic site that was, uh, like I guess I'll put that link in the description. Uh, another thing that I'm also going to do is I will upload this to the Steam Workshop, so that way you guys can... Oh, of course you're going to save. Uh, so that you guys can play around with it and change it if you want. Uh, either keep it or play with it. It'd be, I'd be interested to see what you guys have, uh, or what changes you guys would make to it. So, uh, feel free to, uh, if you, you know, make YouTube videos, that'd be awesome. Post it. Otherwise, uh, you guys can contact me out on the uh, Space Engineers forums. It looks like there was supposed to be a door there. But they cut it out and then re-welded it or something. That's funny. Uh, anyway, you can contact me on the Space Engineers forums. Uh, my username is Deutschbeg, and, uh, just send me pictures or... However you want to show me, that'd be cool. I'd really be curious to see what you guys uh, would change on here, or um, what you end up doing with the space shuttles crashing into stuff. I don't care. Do what you want. So I will get those links out there, and uh, well, you guys can take it from there. So thanks for watching as usual, and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.